Altavia 1 is an 80 mile high level route which runs through the eastern Dolomites in Italy. Altavia simply means the high route and this high route passes through some of the finest scenery the Dolomites has to offer. Join me as I take on this challenging and breathtaking hike through huge forests and other intimidating mountain passes, surrendering to nature, its raw beauty and the lessons it gives along the way. Welcome to the high route and welcome to the Dolomites. A lot cloudier this morning. It's taken me 20 minutes because it's so still. And obviously it's a single wall tent, so it's taken a long time for me to just wipe it all down with my sponge and get all the, well, as much of the moisture out as I could. I haven't slept well at all <laughs> because, um, yeah, it did keep thundering and Storms kept passing over and waking me up and then half asleep I'd be like, am I gonna get struck by lightning here or what? <laughs> so it was, it was hard to fully relax into a, a good night's sleep. So I'd, I'd, um, I'd tiredness to hunger and thirst <laughs> and when we're off. Uh, right, I've, I'm, uh, I'm pretty much squared away. I've got all my stuff squared away in my bag. I've done all my routine, done my stretches. That's it, I'm ready to go. A bit of chafing cream on. Do 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 do. Feel, feel great. Considering the amount of elevation. You know, I did yesterday. I yesterday, did just shy of two Scarfell Pikes in elevation. For those that don't know, Scarfell Pike is the biggest mountain in England. I think I did. 26k something like that through this landscape that's pretty good going water is drastically low and do need to take on some calories and need some food in me so today i think we will we are we're going this way and traversing all the way around it looks beautiful doesn't it look at it i've maybe got three or four hours until we get to a hut and then i'll be able to restart get some water and get a little bit of food on welcome to day three of the alta via one in the Dolomites. This mate, you can see this cloud coming for me. Look, it's enveloping the whole side of this mountain. Look at it coming for me. I better get going. The weather's not forecast too good today. And look how much it's closing in. Craziness. I'm off that way. <laughs> Drinking that new rain jacket. Gutted. I've got a perfectly good rain jacket at home didn't need this stupid rain jacket it's all i could get all they had was this like fancy pants place contemplated just not bringing one but i'm so glad so glad i did get one because of this i have had it all my own way with weather the last two days and it is forecast to be shit for today and i think tomorrow as well oh my god like in no time at all mate, in about one minute, two minutes, the whole of that mountain there is just enveloped in thick cloud and rain. And it's coming this way, it's coming to get me. Should I have just stayed in tent and let this monstrosity blow over? But then you don't know when the next one's coming, it could be settling in for the day. Best thing to do is just move, but that, yeah, I'm gonna get pelted on. Right, anyway, I believe, I'm heading this way up. There's a faint path you can see there, traversing around this huge bit. That's where we're going. But first, let's get a walk back to camera done, early doors. Oh my word, look at this. You wanna watch it envelop me in real time? Let's go watch this. This is gonna be a complete can't see anything. Watch this. In fact, shall I stand up here? Can you see me? And just like that, pea soup in real time. I could see right over, I could see. Now look. 
Okay, as long as I can keep the tra the trail in front of me. I don't know if there's any big mountainous bits. I think there's a few passes, but I can handle them. It's just the bits that are like sheer drops when it's when it's like raining like this, it's not good. I've had to put my guidebook in a plastic sandwich bag in here just to keep it dry. In fact, oh my word, I better put you back. <sighs> right, I better I'll put you away. And I'll just try and hike a bit. Maybe find some shelter and see if the worst of this blows over because it is moving pretty quickly. My rain stopped for a second and look at this. It all just opened up. And the clouds sort of lifted, rolled over me. I've just been like rolled over. Have I been abused? I think I have. I think Mother Nature's just uh, me too'd me. Um, she came right storming over here, all up my blouse, and then just left. But then left that in her wake. Look at it. Absolute scenics. Rodney Scenicson. And there's a lake, look, there's a little, there's a stream, there's trees, there's little rocks, there's, there's a, uh, ah! Woo! It's so beautiful. <laughs> ah, it's taken a long time to get here, but we're here. Ah. Uh. Happy tears, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just a lot of overwhelmed, mate. I'm overwhelmed by it all. Life in general. The beauty of this fucking gaff. Oh, I'm a tiny little speck, aren't I? Ooh, got me. Got me. Anyway. <laughs> I feel so strong. Look at new, ain't new raincoat. I've been working on myself a lot and then um, this is what I've realized. You can't run away from your problems. And by running away, I mean distracting yourself from them with, even with like exercise, with like eating quavers, popping pills, shagging, doing whatever, you know, doom scrolling uh, whatever it is just to take your mind off so that you so that you're not sat with your demons so that you that's you always running from them is you doing stuff to distract yourself from them and I've done that pretty much forever always just distracted myself from my demons and that just makes things a lot worse and you end up I don't know, hurting your people around you and you're hurting yourself more than anything. And what I've learned is that you need to just, or I have needed to just stop and sit with them and turn around and face them. Like Neo on the Matrix, you know, Matrix 1 when Neo's getting chased by the agents and then he just like realises the one. That's what you've got to do. You've just got to turn around to your demon, demons and just with a calmness and a strength, let them know that you are the one. And then you'll never have to run anymore. Anyway, that's facts. <laughs> it might not be facts. I might just be like, I just got real emotional because of... The way that that, I've just been absolutely raped by that cloud and then this. You, you don't know, do you? You don't know what's going on. But I know that this is one of the most beautiful scenes I've ever seen. It's just, it's just nuts. I can hear the water running. <laughs> oh, God, I love it. Absolutely. It's a great outdoors, Tommy. I'm going to make my way through these rocks, past these trees and up to the side of this big mountain that's covered in fog, the side of that. It's 
sleep under there at a push. It's closing in again, but there's no way, uh, it's not steep here. I mean, you don't want to fall down there, <laughs> but I'm confident on this path. You can't go too quick on it. You have to be mindful, but it's not a, a leg pump at the top of one of these, which is nice. You know, dog, there was a farmhouse over the other side of the valley, just in the middle of nowhere, so high up in the mountains. It's nuts. And I think that was the guy on his motorbike, and this is a boring update, and I've realised that now. See, uh, same, this is the same place. About 30, 40 seconds, maybe a minute after. I can see right down there now, look. I'm like surrounded by time lapses in real time because you can just watch it rolling over. It's so satisfying. I think it's going to be one of them days today. It's going to throw it all at me and I'm ready for it. Bring it on. I'm on a bit of hardship. I got it in tent last night. It was wild. It was wild at times. The thunder was so loud and then the hailstones were just pattering. That. I don't, because my tent's so tight, because it's a Dyneema one, I had it fixed so tight, it was so loud. It was like being sat inside a snare drum with animal off the Muppets going wild on top of you. But then it cleared for me. It cleared to just give a moment of beautiful skies and then I got back in my tent and I thought, oh, should I, I could get, get back out and have another look. And then it just all went to shit again and animal came back and started mupping my tent up and that's that. And then this morning, luckily I packed away before the rains came. The rains came heavy. And now it's just this man just keeps coming, rain showers, rolling over, clear skies, rain showers. How do you, well, imagine being a weatherman for this gaff. You just can't do it. Just put all the all the icons in one little bubble. It's going to be everything. Deal with it. Bring your raincoat. Well, you forgot it, have you? Buy one. Oh, look at it. It's not getting any less beautiful, is it? Look at this. I'm going through this forest. I'm off to cut along that road. Oh, can it? Cowbells. I'm back. Cut along that path through the forest. I might just sit and... Uh, ponder life for five minutes and just set a little time lapse up with this on there just as i'd love to see it swirling about and doing its thing let's do that shall we cut to a really short probably terrible time lapse or just the next scene with no time lapse in it because i haven't really done it we'll see <laughs> That didn't work. Set time lapse up thinking, oh, this is going to be great. Watch the clouds whipping over that bit over there. <laughs> and then clouds turned into this. Now I can't even see it, but that's okay. Can't have it all your own way, can you? It could all change in a matter of seconds. And it might, and then that is one of the best things when you're hiking, is when it is a white out and you can't see anything. And then it starts to clear and everything becomes HD. It's one of the greatest feelings ever. And um, I think I'm going to get a few of them today. Look, it's clearing now. You're going to watch it in real time. Like a real time time lapse. Oh, yeah. Raining again. Back with me cows. I love these cows, mate. They're so chilled out. Must be annoying having Bill on them, but I get it. You've got to be able to find them, haven't you? Because it's so vast up here. The lads. And it keeps changing, and I love it. It's, like I keep saying, it's a constant time lapse. And it's working perfectly for my brain. It's like, oh, there, 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 yes. And I even don't mind it when it's fully, in, in, like, 
when it fully envelops me and I get ensconced in dark cloud. I don't mind that either. Is that an ornate bell? Hey, boy, girl. Keep you on one more set just in case anything magic or tragic happens with this cow. Got anything? Shall I try and stroke it and hopefully don't get absolutely... Dr Look at this. Good girl. There we go, the whisperer. Managed to get myself a sani and a cup of coffee. I've got a little bit of water. Their water isn't drinkable apparently because it's something to do with cows. Um, <laughs> but they were trying to sell me one for... I just... I'll give it a swerve. This, there's a... There's a fountain. You know, the three fountains in a hut or two. So I'll just hold off until then. It's a cold. It's cold today and wet, so I'm not going to be sweating as much. I won't need as much water, so I'm going to just... Oh, it's fucking boring, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. It's boring because I just got sat down. I've just been really zoned out on my map. Is it this way? Look how beautiful it is, though, mate. Look. It's absolutely picturesque. Oh, I've just been researching on... Um, let me just double check this before I start wandering aimlessly down here. It's a good job I checked there because I was just about to start waffling and walking down the wrong way. This is the way through this forest. Wonderful stuff. Forgot what I was saying before. Oh, yeah. Let's get over here first. I was just checking my map and looking at the uh, my guidebook and coming up either today or tomorrow. There is a, the court, it's a knife edged ridge. Falls off both sides, there's steep drops off both sides. And I'm gonna to have to deal with it. You can sort of avoid it and then get off the AV, the Altavia one. But then it's difficult to get back on and all this sort of stuff. So I'm just gonna do it, man. I'm just gonna, that's what I've come for. These are the challenges I'm doing. I've had a few quite hairy, like, where, whoa goes right through me but this is going to be the real deal and I'm going to put myself through it because that's how you grow in it you can't be brave without fear let's go <laughs> cut to me taxi on way back no I can't do it the one that's that one's sponsored by Asani and the brew nearly gone over a couple of times on these exposed routes because it's been raining they're extremely slippery. I've done a couple of yelps, not gonna lie. A couple of little, <laughs> the little man screams have come out. <laughs> well, that, as I've nearly stacked it on these routes, but I'm still, I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a woodland fan or a forest fan, not the football team, this is one of the best sections so far for me. You can just imagine it being littered in mushrooms in autumn. And after being on the tops in the swirly fog and mist, it's just stunning. There's a calm about it. You can just hear the rain sort of pitter patter. Don't say pitter patter. We're not writing a novel. You run out of like superfluatives or whatever it is. Superfluous. You run out of the words. The words escape me or I just feel like I use the same words over and over again to describe how majestic this hike is, but that's all I can do. What a section there. Huh? 
Wow. I've just come out of that woods. It looks like Travis Perkins has just emptied a load of hardcore all through trees. But it's not, it's just all coming from from the mountains. And it just cuts through the trees. Look at it. The smell of these pines after the rain fall. It's, oh my, it's just sensational. Look at all the clouds sort of lingering around that mountain there. Are you having it? I am having it. I love seeing these little... If I know then I'm on the right path. And look at my path. It's stunning, isn't it? Drink every time it is stunning. My feet got wet this morning and then it's that thing you know when they're wet and they start to go all hot and weird it started to do that so i've uh, clipped these the good thing about these socks even though i've put an hole in them already they were brand new before this um they've got little elasticated things on here so you can just attach them to the outside of your bag and they'll dry off but i'm just letting my feet breathe before they become a problem oh, i've gone a little bit a little bit gammy so let these breathe and i'll put some fresh socks on not a bad view to do that in i'm thirsty i didn't get refilled in the last one so i've had to just go with a bit of a dry mouth <coughs> i've got now carrying a one litre one and a half litre and a litre so i've got two and a half litre capacity on me at the moment i'll fill them both up fill my belly with it as well i know there's some tough bits coming up in that knife edge ridge i don't want to be thirsty as well as utterly terrified do i because <laughs> are you sticking around i don't know when that'll be maybe to maybe tomorrow are you sticking around to see if i cack it please don't cack it i won't there are certain things i mean i for people that know, I cacked it when I did a Via Ferrata in the south of France with my mates, but I was brutally hungover and I just wasn't having any of it. My brain was playing, not my brain wasn't playing at all. This, there's a weird sort of part of me that wants it. Wants the fear, I want the fear. I want to have that feeling of overcoming the fear, facing my fear, just being near facing it and just being the one calm and with strength just getting over it cut to me helicopters off just keck all over me just shaking like a shitting dog get me out of here i've bottled it right let's get some water rufio i'm not going to stop there because again they don't do free water there's a car park down here and opposite it is a free water fountain. I'm holding out, well, I'm holding every, that's all my eggs are in this water fountain's basket. I'm all in, all in on water fountain. And if it ain't there, I'll be licking grass, uh, get some moisture out of it. Just a little bit of road work, enough of a verge on the side to keep me going. Imagine if that was electrified, front electric fence all the way through this because I'm about to get over it and rest my junk on it. This is, ah. <laughs> no, safe. Here we go, brother. Look at it, a beacon of hope. Oh yeah, get into it. 
Oh, it's going to take a while, but it's so worth it. So thirsty. I'm going to fill this neck the whole thing, then fill this again. A couple of Aleckis in here, and then I've got a litre and a half that'll just be pure water, and that should see me. If I don't go too wild on it for the rest of the day. There we are, look. Italian raspberries. Naughty. First leg squeezer at day. I've cut through this wonderful valley, hit this uh, roof here, that hut, roof, refugio, refugio, hut. Didn't bother staying there because I've got enough water, okay? So I've just started to come up a bit steep. I'm pretty much stopping sort of you for a rest of that. I'll catch my breath a bit, giving up there. <laughs> oh, yes. I was just speaking to some lads at the trough who turned up. They said that they, they're doing the, the, the same hike as me. I was like, how long have you got left, do you think? And they were like, oh, five or six days. They also said that they took four days to get to that watering thing. And this is just the start of day three for me. So I, I think it'll be all right. And that's, this is irrelevant. This has just got nothing to do with the It's a mixture of me oversharing the plans as I'm having them and procrastinating going up that unit. You're welcome. I don't know why I got a rain jacket off. I thought it was important. I'm soaking wet anyway. It's been constant for a while now. And it's all just trickled into me and I'm sure it isn't even waterproof. I feel wet, the sweat mixed in. It's just, what's the point? And best off in t-shirt just, but I just, my thoughts were, when I'm really far up tops, so if it, I get caught out, you're not going to want to be in a t-shirt, are you? There's a huge chicken at woods up there. I can see it from here. All through that bracken though, no chance. Could eat a bit of chicken at woods, couldn't I? I ain't got nothing to cook it on. And I'm kind of allergic to it. Other than that, it's a great idea. Yeah, you don't want to be up tops. And get found out without a jacket like this. I could put my down jacket on, but then that's gonna knacker it up in it. <laughs> Thoughts from the trail. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Coming over this pass again, beautiful grassy meadowy patches with wildflower. I still haven't seen any edelweiss yet, which I would love to see as a gardener and as, as a plant nerd. I would love to find some Edelweiss and then we'll chat about it if I do find it because it's quite symbolic. Snowplow. A free water tap there. Didn't need it. There's some people filming TikTok dances. I'm off up here. Up to the tops. We hike for a bit longer and then there is a lake that I was speaking to a a girl in a hut and she said that there is a lake that you can swim in and so we'll see what time it is when I get to the lake because I might pitch up there have a little swim have a little wash hopefully you can pitch up next to it and hopefully it's not too near or too far it's got to be in Goldilocks zone this lake You there, mate. We're up pretty high now, but still, <laughs> there's that to go. Still feeling pretty fit. Whoa! Nah, mate. This little beacon of hope. Now, if you're going to do this in the future, anyone, I would, and you well, you've got a good mind for planning. Then I would book at least a couple of these on your route because if you get them early they're not that expensive and it'd be nice to dry your stuff off recharge uh, it'd be a nice little uh, addition to it but uh i booked all this with like two days notice so i ain't staying anywhere except up there look at this mate it's a bit... they've got a wood fire on and everyone's just <laughs> drying out all their stuff so it's just steaming up but everyone's drying out all this stuff so 
Oh, leave me bag there. Didn't want to leave. Had a little warm room with a fire on in, in there to dry your stuff. So just left my jacket and that in there. And put some, uh, they gave you some sandals to wear. And I had a goulash with polenta and a coffee. Oh my word, it was stunning. Just what I needed and that'll be me for the day, food wise. Got out of there, it was bucketing it down, my was freezing. I've had to hike all the way up here just to feel some kind of warmth in me. So yeah, I am glad I got this jacket in end because it's been non-stop. It's like it's set, set in. And it's annoying because this, it's saying in the guidebook that this is one of the most beautiful part, I mean, it's all beautiful, but this is one of the like, most talked about sections and it looks like I'm gonna miss it. I contemplated just pitching, pitching my tent and just writing it off and hoping for better weather so that I could enjoy the, enjoy it. But it's not in my nature to stop like that. I can't do it. I just can't do it. So I'm coming over this. Oh my God, look at it. It's clearing up a little bit. This is my lake, look. Oh my word, look at it. Actually, look at it. This is the lake that I was going to camp next to if I'd have hit it at the right time. Oh, wow. Doesn't it look perfect to camp at as well? Should I just do it? That's the one, isn't it? Well, I'm going to have to have a think about this. Look at that, just as I was contemplating, it's all just gone. You can't even see the lake. Ah, it would just so, be such a shame not to see this, like, without the clouds here, to see the lake, just even have a dip in it. Because obviously I could crunch out quite a lot more today. What is it? It's only half three. Half three, half four, half five, half six, half seven. It's another four hours. Can you hear thunder? <laughs> it's another four hours. I definitely won't get a better place to camp than by the side of this lake. I don't know what to do. Because if I keep going into unknown, who knows? I don't know what is, what's coming up. As I say, I just booked this on such a spur of the moment and you can only read so much in guidebooks and that until you've just, you got to experience it. I've got no idea what's going to look at that, mate. Now I'm just getting absolutely fogged in. I'm going to stay here by this lake. I've looked at my guidebook and there's nowhere better than this coming up for, for like, for camping. And I really want to have a swim and have a wash. I've only been in one bit of water and this is like so amazing. I don't want to lose, miss the opportunity to get in here. So if it means my, um, if it means I have to gun it tomorrow and the next day, then so be it. I would rather do that in hope of getting to see it all than hiking in this. Like, I can't see anything. Could be anywhere, mate. Could be anywhere. Could be in Scunthorpe. I was up at seven anyway, so I've put a good shift in. We're about 20k deep. Look. I could have I could have batted on just 20 minutes later and look at it. It's cleared up a little bit. I'm staying here, I've got to stay here. Look at it, it's so beautiful, look. Look at that, man. This is my playground. I'll be swimming in there, I'll be having a proper wash. <laughs> I've got to do it, it's been a change of plan. I'm just gonna go for a swim and then crack on. Solid mate, solid cold. It's cold mate, I can't lie to you. Why would I? Am I going in head and oh what? Of course I am. We're not messing about. <laughs> Are you having it? Oh you what mate? <laughs> highlight reel, quick! It's a lifetime highlight reel. 
This is one of the best moments of my life. <laughs> this is it. I'm living in it right now. I'm living in one of the best moments of my life, mate. Woo! Oh. <laughs> oh man, I'm not even gonna, I'm never getting out. That's cold though. I'll give myself a bit of an ice cream head there, to be honest. <laughs> bit of an ice cream barnet. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you having it? Oh. Highlight reel, mate. Absolute highlight reel. Whoa, <laughs> cold. Might have stayed in a bit too long because just I just transcended there, mate. Unbelievable, Jeffrey. Oh. That was invigorating and uh, that was my plan, just holding back for half an hour has given me this and it's given me, it's all opened up and I was able to swim and see everything and I've got what I needed from it. I was planning on camping and waiting but it's done. And one of the greatest experiences of my life I've just had there. I don't know it fully yet but I could feel something. I could feel something mate. Oh. What glorious water that is. It's unbelievable. It's one of the best wild swims I've ever had. And I've had a few. That's why I was gutted before when it was all white over because the guidebook says that this is one of the most spectacular bits. And they're not wrong, look at it. And they said that we pass in front of this huge mountain, stone wall of a thing. It's, there's, I can see there's snow on it. And I wanted to bring it to you. I want to be able to show you. And I want to be able to see it. So he's starting to clear up a little bit. Fingers crossed. We get to see this big old rock. And I get to feel minuscule. I'm, I'm minuscule because I've been in cold water. That's all. Look at that, mate. It's majestic. I'm already so high up in the mountains and then you look at that face of rock with snow on it. It's utterly majestic. It's unbelievable. Utterly ma unbelievable Jeff stick. God, it makes me feel so like insignificant. Having a moment, Jeff. I don't know if all this is coming across on here, but it's one of the most amazing places I've ever been. I mean, I've been to Alps and that, but it's different because it, when I've been to Alps, it's been because I've been snowboarding, everything's covered in snow and you expect it like that, but to see all this as it's supposed to be, just a bare rock, and then look at that. It's daft, mate. It's really daft. Dude, waiting up there for it all to clear was one of the best decisions of my life. Look at this. Just all the clouds scattered around the mountains. We're so high up. And there's just that. <laughs> Jeff. It's an unbelievable tone. What do you make of it, Tony? Eh? Not in Kansas anymore, are we, Tony? Look at that, Tony. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in your life? It's majestic, it's otherworldly. And we've got a traverse along here. Ooh, 
real talk tone. This is getting good, isn't it? This is getting good. This is one of my favourite sections of hiking that I've ever done in my life. If not my favourite. It's unbelievable, Jeff. And it's just cleared enough. It's just got these pockets of clouds just clinging onto the onto the sides and then they're rolling up now through so you can't see the bottom. It's magnificent. I'm running out of words for it. It's truly magnificent. I was so, so lucky. Please follow the Antivir one path. The one running on the lowest part of the mountain. Avoid the highest because some rocks might fall off the cliff. I'd turn. I don't want to be smashed to death by a rock, so... I'll listen to you, and I'll go this way. This is unreal, mate. Look at this path. Circling around here and then up to the top of there. And the vistas are just somewhere else. Oh, I spy with my little eye. Somebody pitched in a Coleman. <laughs> 50 quid tent, 60 quid tent. It looks like someone's abandoned it. Pitched up and just thought, nah, dude, I'm out. Look at these two. Either shagging or fighting. Either way, get stuck in. But be careful there on path, you slippery little beggars. Anyway, best of luck to you both. And I'll see you as late as. Rest in peace, mate. It's round every corner. Relentless beauty. Now I head down here and through this forest. This is one of the best days of hiking I think I've done. It's, been, it's had everything. I've seen a few mushrooms. I can't do out with them though. Like if, if I just saw a swathe of seps, porcinis. I should say porcinis because I'm in Italy. What would I do? It would be heartbreaking because I've got nothing, I've got no way to cook them. If I was desperate, you know what I could do? I've got a lighter and a knife, so I could get a little bushcraft fire going and make a, like a spit roast thing, like a skewer. Skewer them all and rotisserie cook them. <laughs> just have a look at this, will you? I'm just ambling through here. These beautiful, well, things are trying to get me. This beautiful forest. Today's been like a dream, like a weird dream. Waking up and then that big cloud just coming over me and then I got all emotional and then the, then the rain and the constant rain for hours and then finding that hut, having that swim, the scenery. <laughs> I can't, it's hard to uh, process it all. And then, uh, and then there's this. Oh, Jeff. Huge meadow. I've had my bag off and I've just thought, do you know what? You ever frolicked in a meadow? Frolicked, mate! Frolic naked! Yeah, mate, what's this? This is about all I can afford. Anyone? Could keep in here, couldn't I? Nah, no, what am I thinking? All the stunning places that I've passed and I'm like, hey up, a broken down old, uh, whatever it is with shit tickets all over the floor. Let's get bed, bed down in here for at night. Out of breath, mate, just done some frolicking. I saw that, mate, look at that. And the mirror, oh, a full meadow. And I'll tell you what, it's been one of them days where 
fast here meadow i'm frolicking in it and that's it oh, i get bitten to bits on i now because of frolicking been bitten on i because of frolicking oh well look at that where i was frolicking now just completely covered it i'm getting eaten alive getting eaten alive <laughs> it's one downside of frolicking you get eaten alive wonderful little section this though the meadow section it would be quite a cool place to camp but i'm feeling strong so let's push on a little bit more see what it's got to offer what is this gaff looks like a whole house for drying stuff out it's quiet little church or something all i want is some water mate that's all i need can i please just have some water and then i'll be on my way it's got to have water in there look how busy it is yeah, the atmosphere and the food in there looked amazing i'm like that lonely reprobate at the window in, in snow looking in i have some see you then guys thanks i just got two liters of water yeah two liters of water to go with my other water i'm carrying so much water i've got seven days worth of food and at any one time i've got like three liters of water on me and it's my own fault if you book in advance you're in there with atmosphere and food and everything now i've just looked at my map it's seven o'clock so i've only got like an hour's worth of light an hour and a half of light and i <laughs> It starts going up here and it says up map that it's a lot of like balcony, they call balcony paths. So it's like, it's like a sheer, like a thing like that with a path on it, like here, along. And I was thinking, I'm not going to get pitched on that. I'm going to have to keep going until I find a pitch. So it might have to be head torch on, going across this balcony thing in dark. Instead of being in there eating that nice food and drinking wine with all them lovely looking people. <laughs> the outcast. Just how I like it, TBH. Uh, I can't find anywhere to camp, it's all so steep. Unless I camp on one of these corners, but a car might run me over and I don't fancy that. I'm going to keep on going. Quick look at the views. And we march. Here's my conundrum, it, the road's there, then it, this is the actual path I take. And I guess that's the traverse along the side of this thing here. It says you're doing that for a long time. It's half seven, I've only got like, it starts getting dark about eight, quarter to eight, something like that. So do I do half an hour along here and then just find nowhere to camp? Because look at it, there's no, there's no plateaus in there, is there? It's sheer solid. The only flat bit is this like gravelly corner of a, a road, which could, you know, people could be driving down it at night and just run me over so i'm not doing that That's stupid is there anywhere amongst this gravel i could use the stones to sort of make some of... no of course there isn't you silly wombat i'm a i've wombatted flies are there oh i've wombatted oh well it was going to happen on it rolling the dice like this i mean i'll do out really if i had my have i got my head net if I've got my bug net, mind you, it could rain, I don't know, that's a stupid idea. What I'm going to do is have a look over this first bit, get a feel for it. It's too wild, Tony, and steep. I'm not going to get in there, am I? I'm going to have to. At some point, I've left this one a bit late. I've left it a bit late, Tony. What's that? Right next to the path. Bit mad, turn. Is it a bit mad? But turn. Oh. I mean, oh, it's undulating like mad. It's full of lumps. No. Let's see what's through here. Please be something good, please. Anything flat? Oh, God. Now, there's now. There's now. Oh potentially here madness though what's that up there 
Does that flatten out a bit? Go on. Yeah, what's this? Look. Look at this. Oh my god. Are you kidding? <laughs> Look at this. What the f actual what? <sighs> Off the path. Views. Is this a joke? Am I living in a matrix? Look at that. Just when I was like, I can't, the sun's gonna go in, I'm doomed. Just, it's the size of my tent. Flat, grass, in amongst all this shite. Tony, Tony, Tony. I'm gonna get eaten alive, Tony. I'm happy as Larry. It's a bit undulating, not, not even that much. <laughs> it's as good as what I was on last night, if not better. Any thorns? No. Oh, mate. We've fallen on feet. <laughs> you create your own look, don't you? I could have stopped so many times. I could have stopped at that lake before, uh, when I had a swim. I was gonna. I've done so many more miles since then. Jeff, I'm blown away. Let's get tents set up and get in it and get away from these bugs. Look at that. Look at it. <laughs> to the mill. To the millimetre. Look at it, man. Come off it. Come off it. Oh, yeah. Let's get in. I'm getting itched up. Blowing my bed up. If you want one of these things, you can get a, a little discount. Use this code. I'll leave a link below. There we go. I've been loving this quilt. This is the Enlightened Equipment quilt. You can go on their website and just you can custom your stuff. Just make it how you want it. And this is me. I'm loving it though. It's perfect. Um, and then I forgot my pillow, obviously. So I just got me jacket in a dry bag and then just put my t-shirt over it just for the head feel. Jobs are good and Matt as always, X them me aware. Good job, look at that. Right, welcome to map time. This book keeps trying to fold itself in. I'm holding camera with one hand, knife with other, Chooseville. To the best of my knowledge, I woke up here when the clouds just came over me Beautiful start to the day. I was looking to this way towards these mountains when the clouds were just enveloping them. Following a little stream down here, up this ridge, and then we traverse along here. The weather was doing everything through these woods. I believe, was that my refugio? Potentially that's where I stopped for a, a coffee and whatnot, and then we carry on. Or oh, this could be it actually down here. I nearly went down this way by accident and then cut down through these woods. Yeah, that's it. Along here, along all this hardcore gravel through these woods. It was lovely hiking through this bit. And then we descend down. I didn't stop at this refugio, but there is options to do that there. And this is where we meet the road just for a little bit. It's not too much, it's just this section. Here's where I found my water. That was a lifesaver. A free little water thing there that you can fill your boots with. Don't fill your boots with it. Fill your water bottles with it. And then off onto this track and away. Along we go. There was another refugio around here. Then we start to go up. Elevation up here. And it was just stunning. Like it's all, it's all beautiful. I realised I was just using... I'm just repeating the same words to describe how lovely it is. But it was... It was really nice. There's one I haven't used, nice. Along we go, start to ascend up here, you, these zigzags. This was really steep, proper leg pumper up here. And there are cable cars that run up here as well. To this refugio, which was unbelievable. I stopped, had some goulash and polenta, cup of coffee. I didn't want to leave, man. I got really cold as well when I left. Thankful of my rain jacket. Pushed up here, soon got warm again. And this was where I first saw the lake. And that is where I had the best wild swim of my existence. Utterly stunning, utterly beautiful, amazing wild swim. With everything taken into consideration, I'd say it was probably the best wild swim of my life. 
uh, reinvigorated in there. We headed up. And I was just, I was lost for words. Arguably the best day's hiking I've done in my life. And this stretch was arguably the most beautiful, all things considered. So along here, traversing along here, and then we drop down into these meadows. You can take a detour here to see some dinosaur footprints that I didn't do. Kept going down into these meadows where I had a little frolic. I really crunched out the miles today. All trails was playing up a little bit, but I'll put on the screen what I th I'll try and work it out and put on the screen my distance and elevation if I can, or just my distance. I'll work it out and pop it on the screen now for you. For all you distance fiends out there, keep going. Lovely, it's just lovely walking through all these woodlands. A real mixed bag today. And then this is the refugio that we hit where I went and got a couple of bottles of water and everyone was having a really good time. The food and wine were flowing, but I had to leave like some little reprobate on the outskirts. Off we went. And from from, here, from leaving this refugio, I had my eyes open, looking for somewhere to camp. We hit this track and start zigzagging down. And then you've got to be vigilant with your map because it just comes off here. You would naturally keep following this road down, but it came off here and it was my last roll of the dice. I walked up here and there it was. The greatest camp spot of all time, just when I needed it most. And that's where I am now. And there we go. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell notification to be notified of the next upload. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.